Welcome back upon for the next part of Gangnir. In the last part, we almost descended into madness. After the freakish fight against Robertus and Wallace. Lucky for us, they gave us a little break, in which case we just needed to escape from the castle. We didn't even need it to fight. It was actually possible for, for us to avoid all the fights in the last map, except of that one attack from the paladin. But can we really count that as a fight? I mean, I literally just pushed him off screen and instantly killed him. And after that, I kind of messed up with Paolo and the witch, or rather Paolo and the paladin, so... Uh, but even then, it didn't really resort to any type of fight, per se, so yeah, the last battle was probably a break that we really needed. We really needed that one. Sure, Gullio was super depressed right now. We lost Valerie and Ragnos, but after all that madness, <laughs> we, the player, <laughs> need a little break, right? <laughs> we need a little break. <sighs> now, I'm not entirely sure what else they would could possibly throw in our way now, seeing how uh, we're literally on the lowest end right now. I mean, we literally failed our rebellion. We're currently trying to escape from the Empire, being forced to retreat into the woods. We lost even our stronghold that we stole from here. The one place that should belong to Sparta. Rightfully so, because they were forced to build that thing. Was still taken from us. And that hurts quite a lot. I kinda like that place. It comes with a river. I love that river. <laughs> that river was so helpful during the first time when we uh, had to, to, to rush through that place, right? We just push every enemy into that river and it's done. <laughs> it was great. Even though, just like uh, in the Wallace map, it didn't really provide any protection for us. I don't know why, but every time when the corridor is bigger than one tile, they start to overrun us. Maybe I should invest more experience points into Barnaby and Gullio from now on. Because we need a wall. We need to be able to create a wall whenever it becomes necessary. Maybe! I might even remove everything on Hildegard so that she only focuses on counter attack. I mean, nothing against the whip. I like the poison effect, but the counter. The counter seems so good. Even if the chances aren't really that high. I, I mean, it's one third of the time. 33%. I wish I could boost it further. I wonder if it can be improved if I refine it with alchemy. But for the time being, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about that so much. First and foremost, I need to settle on the weapon before I start maxing them out again, right? You only get that many gems per map, and I don't really uh, wanna get in a situation where I have to force right away I have to swap weapons only to realize, oh shoot, that was a terrible idea. The skills on that weapon are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and if I have already proved it, it's just gonna make it so much worse, right? It would just make it so much worse. Now then, without any further ado... Please! Please! Go easy on me. I'm still stressed. I took a break. I have my tea. I drank my tea. But <laughs> I don't want another Wallace. Alright? At least. Oh, it seems that we are the first one here. Right, we did scatter. I hope the others are safe. Hmm. Oh, we're right back at the broken holy tree from the looks of it. We managed to run this far. But I no longer have my brother. I've lost many friends. What should I do? I entirely sure about that, Gullio. But that's the price of war. You win some, you lose so much. The forest of Twinkinity. By the way, are we able to meet the fairies again? I mean, that is their forest, right? Hmm. 
Gulliel continues retreating from the Gagan army and falls back to the Forest of Tranquility. As long as you are alive, you still have a chance. Paula's words were wise, but they were lost on a grieving Gulliel. For now, all Golio can do is wait quietly in the deep forest. Paolo, however, has yet to return. Please don't get captured. You are literally my only healer. Holy damn. If, if I lose Paolo as well, I'm totally screwed because I just got that <laughs> Don't do this to me. <laughs> I need to get a priestess. As quickly as I can. Uh, uh, I hope everyone is safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me too. Wait, what? Let's take it easy and keep waiting. At least we don't have to worry about food here. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I envy you. You never seem to be distressed at all. I'm just a grin. I'm helping you now, but really, I have no interest in this conflict. Mm hmm, she's just an outsider. And they sleep. Paolo is still not in sight. <laughs> Paolo! <laughs> I feel alone in this world, even though Elisa and Elisa are with me. Mm. Agnos, why? Okay. I guess during the night they sleep and during the day he sleeps. Where the heck do you get those bananas? What is that banana? Huh. Um, is that good? Hmm. I mean, the kokori seeds. You're always eating them. Huh. They're not bad. I suppose they're sort of okay. Decent for food from this world, anyways. Want a bite? Are you sure? Well, they're all over the place in this forest. There you go. And I look like a banana dog. <laughs> oh, it's sweet! Tasty! Oh, by the way. You can determine the ripeness by the spot on the bottom of the fruit they are from. I find the taste to be optimal at... Hmm, about 60% ripeness, I guess. How do you tell that? Wow, you know so much about them. You could easily teach yourself if you observe the world closely. Hmm? I got to see that she enjoys herself. Hmm? I know that sound. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> did you, did that thing just steal the seed? No way! You clumsy girl! <laughs> Wait here. I get some more, okay? Iria? Is that you? It is you, Iria! Iria? Oh! Iria! I'm so glad! How did you find me? That is your bird? Okay, and what is that thing now? This is my friend Iria. I've been close with her ever since I lived in Deltanica. Isn't that right, Iria? Uh-huh, your friend, and that's why she flew right in your face, stole the seeds, and flew off. <laughs> Alright, interesting. I didn't expect to find a bird that understands human language in this world. Well, I don't know about that. I can't tell if she really understands what I'm saying. Hmm. Hmm? The wind has changed. And there it goes. Well, stay alerted, both of you. Someone is coming. Paolo. Paolo! Oh my god, do you have any idea how I've missed you? My healer! Wow, are you all safe? Yes, now at the very least. 
God damn it, Paolo. Never leave my side again, okay? I need that ball. <laughs> Paolo. Everyone. Night that I don't know. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're okay. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. Hmm? Was that Sophina? Oh, Sophina's also there. Is that everyone? Yes, at least. Everyone who was still with us. I do hope that Valerie and her friends got away. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't even care about her anymore. I mean, she literally ditched him in the moment when he needed her most. That is not something that you do to your friends. Right? Especially now, after he literally lost his family. Wait, what? Gang near. Gotcha. Uh... Uh, what are those? Skeletons? Oh my, oh my, I finally got you. You guys are the real pain in the butt, you know? Uh huh. Aren't you Isabelle? Isabelle the corpse master? What? But that can't be. She's dead. Oh, dead? Me? Do I look dead to you? Shut up with that. Seriously. Anyhow. Mm -hmm. What is it? You have aged, Paolo, and lost weight. How long has it been? See arts turning into a nasty old coot, and here you are, another old coot. This time things sure is a pain, am I right? But I guess it's my lucky day that you are here. Just hand over Gangnir, will you? What? Did you just say Gangnir? Oh, don't make me tell you again. Or do you want to fight my boys here? Ah, uh, Hold it right there. Those beings don't belong in this realm. They shouldn't be here. Where did you learn this netherworthy craft? Hmm. Oh, wow. How do you know so much about my skill? I'm asking the questions here. You had best answer them. Hmm. Oh, you're interesting. <laughs> Maybe I will take your corpse back along with Gangli. Okay, more of them. Okie dokie, let us begin. What the hell? Battle with corpses. And she was supposed to be dead? Didn't you mention that, Paolo? What the hell? Okay, wait. We have four days this time around? Am I seeing fairies there? Yes. Yes, I'm, I'm seeing fairies again. Do I need to worry about the fairies or are those... House of fairies again. Kind of hard to tell. They were in the cutscene at least, so I guess that's fine. Okay, I can bring Elise, I could bring Gulio, or I could bring Paolo again. Which I might wanna do. But then again, she was asking for Gangnir, so maybe I should bring Gulio just in case. Yeah, yeah, I guess I guess I can bring Gulio into this. Oh, I only have three people this time around. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess Gulio's fine. Gulio's at the very least a little bit tanky. Did I give him potions? I might have to give him some potions though, just in case. Just in case. Here you go, medical herb. Enjoy it. There. Why is she after Gangnir? That's a good question. It's a very good question. Why do we only have three people around this time around, huh? <laughs> That's something that I would love to know. It's this, the Earthbound. Some kind of golem thingy? Gufras 26, Rocket Physics. Rocket Physics. Oh no. Okay, destroy random equipment piece. It can destroy anything. Uh, 
147 power. It's a golem, so I should probably hit it with magic, I think. Hopefully. Affinity type is normal, so he doesn't have a weakness. That's a bit of a bummer. Isabelle comes with the Necro script, Gargoyle Rod, Chrono, and Classic uh, classic Rope. CT down. Alright. What's this? Reduce casting time. Oh! Okay, I think I would love to have this. Then a classic rope that all trainee sorcerers wear. Nick for script. A parchment from Hades. Ah! Could it be that maybe you were dead at some point? Huh? <laughs> Wide range HP recovery only for dead. Grave digger. Magic attack to one unit in rage. HP drain only on undead. Hardest invitation. Magic attack to one unit in range. Adds undead. Only at night. Purgatory call. Aqua damage. Three random squares within range. Adds defense half. Cluster pillar. Wide range magic damage. Randomly adds stone. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds like fun, Isabelle. That sounds like a lot of fun. And then we have Angry Guardian. Uh huh. With physics, small physique that just does. Oh, that can only be used on full HP. Magical damage to range. Panic. So I need to at least give them a small pick before anything happens. Lily Bell Wand. That puts, or rather, that freezes our guys. Wide range magic attack. Adds freeze. Handicap. Physical attack to adjacent unit. Slippery. And Oikalkum. Any blacksmith would want some. Okay. Incredibly strong, it says. Cannot be stolen. Okay, I need to steal that Oricalcum with everything that I have. <laughs> 30, 30 gems each! And we have two fairies around here. Two freaking fairies and a bunch of skeletons with undead infinity. A bloody rapier. A stabby sword. It always shines with blood that will never dry. Physical attack to adjacent unit. Powers up near dead. No guard. Weapon. Okay. It also comes with a buckle. And I'm gonna check the weapon itself. Don't really have that many options to get, get free piers around here. Maybe instead of archery I could get uh, uh, those bloody rapiers. Would certainly be interesting to have. Especially since, uh, as Biserius, my guys are usually very close to dead and get stronger. It's pretty much like in Bloody Rose, we failed to get the last time. Okay, anything else I need to worry about? Doesn't really seem like it. That's good. Well, it's certainly clear that we need Paolo in this. And after that... Hmm... I have a feeling that I might want to get my archer ready. Yep. I always, I always need my archer around here. Every single time. Every single time. And we need to get rid of this guy first. Because he can break stuff. Right? Or is there something that I don't know about him? No, I don't really think. Yeah, I need to get rid of him first. Even though he's relatively tanky with 1.5k HP. I think I want to get rid of them first. We don't know how strong they are. So fight hard, but fight safe. Oh, don't worry. I'm always fighting safely. Right? Alright then. <clears throat> oh, Gangnir! I'm so excited. I've wanted it for so long. You knew about it before? Careful. You don't want to end up with injuries that will last a lifetime. So you better not underestimate my creations. 
Although, if you die, I'll be sure to put your bodies to good use. Aha. Uh -huh. Girl, I don't know what you're talking about, but you will never get gone near. Alright? Mm hmm. Okay. Mm, I would say we are going to start with getting a couple of those base points first. Wait, is that the base point? Here's the base point. Okay. Get this one first. And then we're going to get this one. There you go. They actually give us three easy save points, or rather gathering point, right from the start of this battle. It's a bit weird, but I can't really complain about it. There you go, another base point. Okay, where's that thing? Right over there. Let me use the cooling orb first. Uh, are you relatively slow? Oh, you're gonna move soon. Okay, fall back a little. The skeletons are on this way, that's alright. I'm gonna shoot at this guy. 0% dodge rate. First hit. Okay, not so bad. Oh god, he's slow. Extremely slow. Interesting. And she is extremely fast. Okay, I might want to disperse our team a little. Are you hitting? You're going for my boy. That's not good. Okay, you're going to head over to the right side from here. The other two are going to take care of this guy. Shoot again. Still 0% dodge rate. I could go for beat. It might be, might be worth it actually. Does it add a freeze effect? Mm, don't really see it, but it might. Okay, the freeze is coming around, but it didn't hit anyone. That's good. The skeletons are about to reach my boy. <coughs> get rid of that guy first, though. 21 turns. I can ignore that for now. Let me cast the fire right in the middle of this. I should be faster than both of them, right? Oh, then again, he seems to be moving already. Well, I am going to hit the girl. And if I can freeze her, that would certainly be kind of handy. Okay, I can't boost it because he's kind of busy. Down to 50%. <coughs> Come on, Nicolo. You got this. The fairies seem to be on their way as well. That's alright. Stick to your corner. Actually, I'm going to stick to the wall for now. One, two, three. Okay, what's the range? If I fall back one tire, then he won't be able to reach me. Fairy! I'm busy here! Stay in your corner, please! Don't you see that I uh, am currently trying to shoot away at this... Uh, Stone Golem thingy? It's quite busy right now. Down to 444. We'll take it. It's too bad that the freeze thing is not gonna hit, but that's alright. I got the. F oh my god! Thank you. Thank you. You stay right where you are, girl. <laughs> I'm telling you this. Stay right where you are. <laughs> okay. He's trying to reach us, but not yet. I'm gonna fall back a little bit more. Right here. Right to the left. Ah, oh, shoot. They're getting really, really close. 
extremely close. But we're getting there. Just a little bit more and that thing is gone. The lady can't move so it's fine. The fairies are coming around though. I need to worry about the fairies. Especially now since I'm not entirely sure where they actually are casting this. For my Gulio as well. Yeah, okay. I can see that you guys have something against the, my, my boy right now. I can see it. I do not appreciate it, but I can kind of understand it. Oh shoot, the guard rate. A relatively high guard rate. I'm just gonna take this guy now. A mind. 20% is actually 100%. I should have considered that. Okay, who are you attacking now? Please stay frozen. Okay. Would you push me away? No? I guess that would be a little bit too much to ask, huh? That <laughs> would be a little bit too much to ask. Okay. I guess I kinda have to take that hit. I don't want to, but I guess I kinda have to. Do it again. Get rid of that boy before he destroys anything that we don't want to see destroyed. K -k -k okay. What does it do again? Is it the panic one or is it the sleepy one? Kind of hard to tell. Oh, skeletons! Come on! Don't do this! You might actually force my hand here! Actually speaking, Purchase corpses. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Sounds interesting, don't you see? Don't you think? Hmm? <laughs> Sounds like a very interesting thing, actually. Maybe maybe this is actually worth it, huh? <laughs> maybe this is actually worth it. Okay. Down to 1,500. Yeah, you stay where you are. I don't really want to move from that spot. I guess they can just try to hit it again with a bead would be nice. But then again, it has a 40% guard rate. The chances of hitting that are relatively low. Really, really low. But I guess it's fine. Purgatory! Oh, it didn't do anything. Oh, I kind of thought it would hurt those guys. It did say purge them. Or maybe wait a second. I need to. I need to see how they react once they die, because in Knights of the Nightmare, some enemy types don't really die once you lower their HP to zero. They just fake their death and recover some of their HP after a while. And if that's the same situation as back then, then I would kind of understand what they want me to do from right here. Okay, shoot again. Is there not enough? 128, another tactic point increase. Berries, what are you doing? And clap! Oh, come on! Don't do that! Who would want to do something like that? And now you're casting. The audacity of those girls and skeletons, right? The audacity. The audacity of those- Oh my god, it does a lot of damage. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay? <laughs> uh... Action? Medical herb? That oh, was a bit too much. Oh god, slippery. <laughs> Killing your own guy! <laughs> I'm gonna throw a potion. It's alright. 
There you go. I I got some. I got some, my boy. And then. Yeah, yeah, they fake their own demise. Which means I need to use another one of those right in the middle of this. Oh, you can move again! Oh, I didn't see that! And you're extremely fast! And you turn me into an undead! Oh, great! Oh, great! I love this. Absolutely love this. Can I... Can I start running a little? I think I can start running a little. Medical herb on yourself. Yes. We need it. Only damn. Along those undead nest. Do I need something for this? Hollow. Oh, no. Hollow. Oh, no. <laughs> Hollow just seems like a really bad thing right now. Can I shoot at the very least at the fairy? No? It's getting better and better around here. Okay, I can shoot at least at that fairy. I take this. 564? No action available. How about I'm going to start my run? Fairy? Oh, fairy? Don't do that, fairy! What the hell, fairy? That doesn't really make it any better, fairy! Holy crap! I'm not even sure if I can heal right now. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can heal. Probably not. Gonna shoot again. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should should have taken care of the fairies first. <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna give her a slap so that she doesn't have access to a panic attack anymore. Down to 500. Yeah, I take it. Nicolo, stand on this corpse! Maybe, maybe that gives us time. It lowers the cast time! Paulo! <laughs> you kidding me? No, wait! Is this the same thing? Is my Paulo undead too? Oh, that would be kind of great. Kinda. <laughs> okay, she lives on 23. That's good because then I have a higher chance of actually murdering her. Ah, this invitation. Yeah, no, I'm not about to, to, to turn also into some kind of zombie. It's not about to happen. Still a bit slippery, but I guess it's fine. Okay, this lady is gone. Base power increased. Are you dead, dead? No, she fled. Too bad. Too freaking bad. Okay. That's a little bad. I mean, we currently lack like, the healer, but I guess it's fine. Paolo, if you are going to stand up, I would appreciate it if it happens as soon as possible, because uh, let's be serious. We are a little bit in a pickle here. And I didn't even get the oil calcum. I wanted to get the oil calcum. God damn it. Let's go for beat. I need to get rid of that fairy ASAP. Okay, 147. 
I'm gonna get rid of said a fairy. Somehow. Or I'm gonna attack the lady first, because I have the feeling that skeleton guy is probably going to attempt to steal my stuff and I'm not about to allow that. I'm not about to allow you to steal my stuff. Oh no! Yeah, I wanted to avoid this. I actually wanted to avoid this. And you gave me slippery again! Why? And the bloody stab! I'm effectively cornered right now. <laughs> Paolo! Paolo, please! Stand up! I need you! I really need you right now! It's a 30% dodge rate. Okay, Fairy is knocked out. I can technically escape again. <laughs> God, I failed, but he can still live! Time to, time to run, I guess. Okay, you are slippery, I don't know if you are... How's that blocked? Okay, never mind, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Throw another potion towards my boy. Cannot fall. He's my ace. There you go. Take it. Okay, I got one of them! I've got one of those crystals. I take that. Oh no. Hello? Is that you, my boy? You have recovered! <sighs> Paolo! <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, you can tank that, I guess. Did he recover fully? He did. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start cornering her. No god. Yes, please. No! Slippery! <laughs> oh, come on! Huh? <sighs> Did you actually manage to mess that up? Really? I mean, sure, why not? I'm no longer going to attack the skeletons, they're just getting stronger. I mean, I would have loved to get the blood rape here, but let's be serious. Nope. Nope. I'm going to get her in range first, and then we shall worry about uh, Milady over there. Mm, wide range at silence. Oh. I don't say. If I could silence that girl as a mage, that would not that, that that would literally be the worst thing that could possibly happen to her. I'm still undead though. I'm still undead. <sighs> and you guys are starting to steal my bases. I do not appreciate this. Let's go for beatdown. Okay, down to 50%. Love to see it. Come on. Silence her! Please! I don't see it. I think it didn't happen. Ah, oh, this is a bit messed up. I'm not about to change sides. You have a 20% guard rate. That's decent. I was about to say. 20%, 30%, doesn't matter. It's actually 100. <laughs> With my luck, that is actually 100. Without a doubt. Without a freaking doubt. <sighs> okay, let's go for another beat. Down to 626. Oh, Nicolo. You're so powerful, Nicolo. Ah, oh, shoot. Cluster Buster. Let's at least withdraw one of our guys. 
I'm gonna give you a healing cross right in the middle of it. There you go. You might get hit, Nicolo. You might get hit, but at the very least, you're not undead. In, in which case, I can heal you. Right? That That's how it works. If you're not undead, I can heal you. And now I really need to heal you because you're extremely low. Okay. Clean strike. No guard. Okay, down to 384. When is the heal going to come around? In a couple of seconds. Oh yeah, I need to boost that book. Do you have a... Uh, I don't know... Healing thingy? Mm, not really. You know what? Just attack her again. Yep. Just attack her again. On to 143. I'm gonna scramble the next chance I get. If I need to. Doesn't really seem the case. Just to take her again. Just just get the mastery. Nicolo already has mastered his bow. It's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna forget about the blood rapier. It's not worth it! Even though I could have probably found some XP around here. I don't wanna risk it. The night is approaching and Paolo can't heal that well. Ah! I haven't died in such a long time! Oh, I love this feeling. What? <laughs> I guess I'll let you hold my gun here for a little longer. I'll be coming to pick it up soon, so don't lose it. Hehe, <laughs> bye bye! So you already died before? I mean, she does have the scroll of Hardest. She does have the scroll of Hardest, and now we have it as well, the Necro script. Ah. Uh -huh. I guess she was dead after all. Maybe somebody revived her. Or she has the magic to revive herself. I mean, she did kill, kill Paolo as well, and he came back from the dead. <laughs> well, she sure has some strange magic there, right? What did you mean when she said that she was after Gangnir? Gangnir and the Vorgons are overwhelmingly powerful. It's not surprising that someone would want their power for themselves. But that didn't seem like the only reason. Paolo seemed to know something. You do, Paolo? Isabelli was a colleague of mine when I was a court magician. She was a genius of magic, mastering many forms at a young age. At least, that is what Sia told me when he introduced her to me. Okay, Sia introduced you? So you were working with Sia before? Yes, back then, he was only a court magician as well. We, as the Imperial Magician Division, fought in the Gaganian Millennia War. Isabelli disappeared during the fighting, and I have never saw her again. I had fought her long dead. Even if she were alive, it's been decades since she served in the military. It is hard for me to believe that it is the same Isabelli. Hmm. The woman we saw was a necromancer after all. She wields a power which is like Gangnir and shouldn't exist in this world. She's probably using that power to maintain her appearance. Now that you mention it, she was very interested in the forbidden magic. Okay, well I guess we should probably continue moving now. Alright, pursuers could appear at any moment. But we have no way to go. Guess we should return to Esparta. If we were to find more survivors, it would be there. We will wait there for an opportunity to strike again. We won't accomplish anything by just sitting here. Alright, Paolo. Let's go, I guess. Is that a good idea? I mean, they do know that a rebellion started in Esparta. If we return there, that might just bring more chaos over. And a necromancer, hmm? 
Magic user using spells from the underworld. Aren't that rare? But if that woman had gotten her hands on the gate. The Demon Spear of Hardus. Oh. It's not really something that I want to chronicle. But I guess I need to. The Spear of Hardus? Hmm. This is probably going to get ugly. Will it? I don't like the sound of that, Elise. I do not like the sound of that at all. Anything of interest that I could buy? Maybe more of those uh, flowers, perchance, that I can turn into gems. <laughs> prevents gravity, prevents fleeing, perch talismans. They do give us a bunch of very interesting items around here. I have to give them that. Okay, for the experiment, I'm gonna do something really quickly. I just wanna see something. There we go. Save. Now that we have went through the Forest of Tranquility, I was already able to get a couple of fairy stuff wands. Is it possible for me to get the fairy around here? If I were to sacrifice a fairy thingy, like the coral branch thingy that I just bought? Okay, I was about to say, I don't quite understand why I have that option then, if I don't get the fairies. It doesn't really make sense. It doesn't really make sense. And nevertheless, um, I've checked the shop, bought a couple of items, restocked in the medical herbs, those are really important. Got the coil branch, in case I can finally get some fairies around here. A pointy hit, in case somebody needs protection against silence. After all, silence is literally the worst possible thing that could possibly happen to any of my guys. And after that... I'm not so entirely sure... Uh, Energy TP sounds great, but it is 15. And I do like the magic gloves more. And I don't really want to wear that much. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about that. You know, I want to keep the the, the the capacity as low as possible so that they can get the turn faster. And accessories are helpful. It's just I'm never so entirely sure about them, you know? <laughs> Anyways, I already saved. I already checked the time. We are at about 50. Minutes, so I would almost say it would probably be the, for the best of us if I were to make a cut right here. But at the same time, I kind of want to see what happens next. So maybe for this week, I'm gonna record a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna record a little bit more. I just took a long break in order to recover my sanity, and the last battle wasn't so bad. I mean, it got close. Paolo got turned into an undead, but he didn't die. It wasn't so bad. I wanna, I wanna record one more part. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. I hope you guys had fun in today's part, and I see you in the next one where we continue our journey and retreat further towards Espada. I really hope we're going to change our minds because I don't really want to lure our enemies towards that area. Those guys have nothing, and if they get in danger again, like the last time of fear, that would be terrible. Oh.